My name is Shante. I'm from Brixton, South London, by way of Jamaica, by way of Copenhagen, by way of Crud. Um, when was the moment that you realised you're good at what you do? Kind of, kind of always new. <laughs> always new. Uh, what's the song that represents home? Oof. I guess. Oof. One of mine? One of mine? Maybe like me. Yeah. Um, what's a food that has to be taken away from you, otherwise you won't stop eating it? <laughs> you can't leave, um, you can't leave Kalaloo and Aki around me and fried dumplings. Or boiled dumplings, nah, no, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah. What do you do when you're alone in the lift? I actually dance, like, I make up music videos and stuff and I look in the mirror and I'm like... What's the sport that you wish you were good at? Man, tennis. If I was good at tennis, yeah, listen, it would be a wrap for everybody. <laughs> tennis, tennis. How do you like your tea or coffee? I like my tea plain, actually. No sugar, I'm sweet enough. What was the first record you bought with your own money? Jackson 5, Children of the Light. Ah, no, it's called Looking Through, Looking Through the Window, that's what it's called. What's the worst chore? Worst chore? Um, probably like cleaning out a pot, like like a pot that's like rusted or something. That's that's dead to me. What's the last film you watched in the cinema? God, pre-lockdown. I don't. I, I feel like I'm gonna say like Joker. What's the theme tune from a childhood TV show that you still remember? Everywhere to. Pokemon. Uh, what's a controversial food combination that you'll fight people on? Oh, I keep telling people that you need to have chips with mayonnaise in it. Like no one, no one's really hearing that. You can get vegan mayonnaise too. Yeah, chips with mayonnaise, man. What's the dumbest thing you did in school? Probably when. Me, my friend Vanessa and my friend Ruth would sit in art class and play the beat to touch it <laughs> in the middle of class while everyone's supposed to be sketching in silence and like, we'd either get kicked out of the class or like get sent into detention and yeah, that's probably the dumbest thing. <gasps> Lie! Athletics competition. After the competition we were supposed to go home. We decided to go to Victoria instead. We were told we weren't allowed to go to Victoria because Westminster City boys would would always fast with us and mess with us and we'd always get in trouble. Tiny man went to Westminster City boys, he can vouch for this. Yeah. After the competition we went to Victoria, the head of PE department came, saw that we were in Victoria and she chased us all around the town until we got put in detention for like a whole week or something like that. Yeah. What do you forget to do the most? Thank God for stuff, you know. I I thank him, and then afterwards I'm like, should have thanked you more because like things are really good right now. So yeah, even when they're bad. What's something you feel ripped off by? Flipping. When you pay for something on like Uber Eats, but then and you're thinking it's like ten pounds, and it says three ninety nine delivery charge. I just feel like that is disrespectful, and I will empty the whole basket. Um. How do you treat yourself? Mm. I can treat myself better. I think I put myself, I hold myself at a high standard, especially when it comes to like work and stuff. Um, and sometimes I'm not too kind with myself. But as I've gotten older, I'm just reminding myself like, I'm buff, like, I need to remember that. I'm talented, God has blessed me. So slowly but surely I'm starting to give myself a little bit of free reign to just enjoy myself a bit more. What's the greatest advice you ever got? Um, to remember that I'm indomitable. 
um, my dad told me that. Yeah. What's the food that the jury's out on, or you can't figure out if you like it or not? I feel like sweet potato fries are overrated. I just there's something about them that just doesn't make sense to me, and. I feel like when I used to eat meat, people used to bang on about them ribs at TGI Fridays. They were never nice. I thought the sauce was dead. I, I, it just doesn't sit right with my spirit. Spirit don't take it. What was the last fruit or vegetable you tried for the first time? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like. I eat loads of different types of fruits anyway. The one that comes to my mind right now is like custard apple, maybe. Yeah, custard apple. What's a fruit that you dislike? It is one. What's the texture that makes your skin crawl? When you see them little bumps all gathered together on a wall or something like that, like a peeling paint, and it just looks like burst veins. It's nice, no, it's dusty. Um, what's something you still feel about, bad about missing? Um, my friend Vanessa's son's Christmas, yeah, and my friend Chantal's funeral. Uh, what do you want to have learned five years from now? I see that footwork that some of these SA dancers are doing, yeah, because the way my feet are set up of the past few months, I've not been able to do it. Um, but yeah, and I know how to manage a, a company worth a few billion yeah and what did you want to be when you grew up me yeah when you were younger what did you want to be when you grew up i wanted to be a musician um at the same time as being a, a air hostess as well so i guess this event is really fitting but yeah it was to, to do what i'm doing now to be honest and travel i've always felt a bit nomadic so yeah um, if you could look down this camera mm -hmm. and speak to 10 year old Shante, what would you tell her right now? Um, hey Shante, you're going to get taller, six foot exact, exactly actually, and um, times are going to be tough, but they're going to be good. You're going to realise that you need your family um, and you're going to want to be around them more often. You're going to travel a lot, you're going to go through some heartbreaks. Uh, you've got to change your hair a thousand times before you decide to settle on actually having looks. Um, but you're going to be awesome. Every single idea that you ever have, as crazy as it may sound, go and do that. If that means, I don't know, naming your first dog Levi to turn in Christian Gallery into an airport for an album launch, then do that. Um, and you're unstoppable. And I love you. At, me, at this age, I love you. Um, yeah, man. Sweet. We'll cut there. Thank you. Thank you for choosing to fly with Air Shante. Please make sure you book your tickets for our inaugural flight from Kunshram Airport to Jamaica via Copenhagen. Make sure to have your boarding passes ready for 7pm. All of our flights are equipped with a rare treat entertainment system and food and refreshments will be offered shortly after takeoff. So sit back, relax and put on a bro- See you later! 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 See you later!